Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how you can create a gateway in between two CAN networks. So here in this simulation setup, I've added two CAN networks that is CAN1 and CAN2. So by using gateway, what we are going to achieve is whatever message are uh, received in the CAN1 network should be sent to CAN2 network and whatever messages are received on CAN2 network should also be sent to CAN1 network. So this task is done using gateway and this gateway we are going to program using capital programming and uh, once it, that is done we are able to see all the messages uh, in both of the networks in the trace window in the same trace window so let's begin without wasting any time and we will just click right click on this network and we'll insert a network node and in this network node we are going to write a capital script and the same kind of network node will be inserted in the CAN2 uh, network but uh, for the time being we are going to program only for the network one so just click on edit so it will open in the capital browser and we are going to name our file so I'll just be opening this file new file one dot CAN so our capital browser is now open and the first thing what we have to do is we have to send all the messages received on the CAN1 network to the CAN1 CAN2 network so we have to write on message and we have to as we have to send all the messages of CAN1 network to CAN2 so we have to consider the CAN1 network dot wildcard entry that is star that is all the messages on CAN1 network and in this block we have to write a kappa script to send messages uh, received on this file card to the CAN2 network so then we have to write that is message CAN2 a variable of message message CAN2 dot star m And then we have to check if this dot dir the current message which we have received on the can one if it is rx message then we have to check one more condition that if this dot can equal to equal to one so this is just for safety as we are checking for only can one so then we have to check if this can equal to one then we have to put this m dot this m equal to this semicolon so what we are doing here is we are putting the current message which we have received on can1 and assigning that message to this message the message which we have to send on can2 so this current message what we have received in this file card has been assigned to this m message so this is equal to m and then what we have to do is just simply output that message on m on can2 so using this can2 dot star entry that is a wildcard entry for any kind of message will be sent to can2 using this output and the same kind of thing we have to do just we have to repeat for can2 also so this thing the first block is used to send all the messages received on the CAN1 network to send the messages on CAN2 network and this second one will be vice versa that is all the messages received on CAN2 network will be sent on CAN1 network so we just have to change the number and here also we have to check that if this dot CAN equal to 2 then M equal to this and output M so this will do for the gateway programming and we just have to compile it if to check if all the things are right and if it is not giving any error then we will know that there are zero errors and zero warning but there is a trick that we have added this network node only in the can1 network so it will not detect the messages in the can2 network as the node is not been added in the uh, can2 so what we have to do is we have to add a network node into a can2 network and we just have to copy the capital script what we have written 
or else you can just directly select the capital script what you have written for the can1 and that will create a gateway automatically between can1 and can2 and once you open the trace window you will see all the messages from both the networks in the same trace window so that's all about the gateway creation using capital programming